Nico, what did what did you feel sort of was the biggest challenge for you guys in that first game that maybe prevented you from playing the way that you guys wanted to? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it was definitely an emotional win and a uh, quick turnaround, but it shouldn't be an excuse. Like we should uh, should be able to refocus, and uh, we knew it's going to be a new new team, new. Uh, they have some new new things we got to take care of, and. Uh, yeah, I mean it was not a good start. That's that simple. But uh, we this is behind us, and now we're looking forward for uh, tonight. And uh, we definitely have to play better. A 60-minute hockey game to, to give ourselves a chance to, to win a hockey game, and we didn't do that game one. So uh, we gotta. Uh, adjust that and uh, yeah, be ready for from get going tonight. I know the answer is probably obvious, but how important is it not to fall again into an O2 hole going back into like, that third game? Oh, it's it's obvious, yeah. but it's also it yeah really important. <laughs> it's uh, you know Carolina's a team uh, uh, that comes out uh, fast and uh, and strong and uh, yeah, it's really important to do. Uh, Get the first goal, or even to just to hold the zero zero, and uh, that's yeah, that's the mindset we're gonna have tonight. To get more scoring, um, I'm not gonna say you guys didn't shoot, but maybe you didn't shoot as much as you normally might. Maybe try to be a little too perfect. You just gotta get the pucks in the net tonight. Yes, uh, simplify it. Uh, I think the, in the playoffs they're gonna be scored a lot of uh, nice goals. Uh, it's just broken plays, uh, screens. Um, Goals, rebounds, all that, and uh, definitely there was something we, we lacked in uh, in the game uh, one, and uh, we got to change that. Nico, they're, they're as good as anyone in the first period. Is that something you got to be conscious about? Yeah, like uh, answers here. Uh, we know they're they're good in the first period, so uh, getting the first goal or uh, just holding that uh, tie game that's uh, important. Apart from the, the goals, obviously he brings. Uh, what did you miss the most about Timo Meyer's play and what he brings for you on the ice? I mean, he's a uh, he's a playoff hockey type guy. Uh, he's he's hard on bodies. He's a uh, uh, hard guy to contest. Um, uh, he's so big. Uh, he can he can get in your face, and uh, you saw it in the Rangers series. Like they didn't like him at all. So I think that's that's really important to to have a player on the team. Uh, it just creates ca chaos and uh, just gets 100% every shift. And Timo is a great player that we're missing right now. But uh, this is hockey too. Like uh, it happens if somebody's out of the lineup, nobody wants to be out of the lineup. But then whoever is in uh, just gonna step up and uh, be the difference maker. And uh, I think uh, we've we've done it all year and uh, shouldn't change right now. What, what about Akira, like, if he's back in there tonight, which it looks like he is, what about his demeanor and allows him to kind of bounce back from getting like, the game like that last game, which wasn't really his fault anyway? No, yeah, uh, I think just got to play his game. Yeah. Uh, like you said, I don't think he it was his fault at all. Yeah. Um, I think just coach wanted to send a message to the team, and uh, so uh, I think he's he's doing well. He's, uh, <laughs> his pulse is the same back there, so uh, I think he's, he's going to be all right. Nico, when you saw what the Hurricanes were able to do in game one to you guys, is that what you guys look like when you're at your best and what you're doing to the opponent? Yes. I mean, they're, it's a high-paced game out there. Like They're forechecking really hard, and I think uh, we weren't connecting our forecheck. We, we definitely can be able to forecheck harder. And, uh, yeah, I mean, they, they didn't play a pretty game, but that's... What's all it about? Like you know, playoff hockey shouldn't be pretty, and uh, they did the right things out there, and we weren't just ready to play. So uh, we had no business to, to win game one. Thanks, Nico. Appreciate it. Well, I mean, last game wasn't the way we want to play, so we're going to be better tonight. Did you sense, um, you know, a little bit of day off at the rink yesterday, and guys, you know, get some of that uh, energy back? And uh, yeah, I guess I mean, it's good to have some time off. I mean, it's a quick turnaround. Emotions run high in game seven, so. Um, it's not an excuse. I think we let ourselves down in game one and we'll be better tonight. What's the key and what have you learned uh, from seeing them uh, up close in that first game that maybe was different than the regular season? Um, a lot of the same. They come hard, they forecheck hard, and um, we just didn't didn't move pucks the right way and we didn't create enough pressure and um, kind of put them back on their heels. They kind of took it to us for a lot of the night. So um, we'll make some adjustments and we'll be better tonight. Gravy, what's the biggest obstacle or maybe challenge when you're facing off against a team who like to play a similar style that you, that you guys do? And they were probably better at accessing it in the last game. Just make adjustments. Um, I don't think we played our game last game, so um, 
have to ch just change a few little things and um, a little better effort and we'll be better tonight. And you just, uh, what do you expect? You've talked about your team's bounce back ability all year long. What do you expect tonight? Uh, you know, I expect a lot more energy, expect a lot more speed, I expect the team to play quicker. Uh, give them a lot of credit. They played, you know, they played a real good game. I, I didn't, you know, like a lot of parts of our game. We lacked speed, we lacked energy. So, you know, I think our game will be a lot better. Whenever you play Carolina, it's all about the 50 50 battles, all about trying to outwork them, isn't it? Yeah, it, uh, you know, it's a game where you got to win your battles along the walls. Uh, you know, I thought the second period we started to win battles, we started to get opportunities, uh, we played quicker. Uh, we were a lot more connected. Our puck support was better, and uh, that led to better opportunities. Lindy, is Timo playing? Timo will be a game time decision. Doing a lot better today. What did you, what did you both miss the most about his game in the last game? Uh, you know, big physical guy, uh, can get to the net, uh, good on the rush. I mean, created some of his own opportunities. So, um, you know, he was he was a big part of you know getting inside and getting around the net. And, Although he didn't score, he, he probably led our team in, in in grade A opportunities. I have another good question for you. Who's your goalie tonight? That is an awesome question. <laughs> um, I have three options, and uh, I'm going to come up with one by game time. Do you think you uh, you think you had a bit of a hangover there after after the seventh? I, I do, uh, and you know, sitting back reflecting, uh, hard not to. Such an emotional win, uh, such a big game. And such a quick turnaround. I, I really thought we would be better off with the quick turnaround, but for our guys to play the way they did and, and all in the way they did, I think uh, we had some guys that tanks weren't, didn't quite have enough energy in. Are there ways to neutralize their hard forecheck, Lindy? Well, let's, let's have us have the puck and let's forecheck them. Beside your goalie and team up, huh? can we expect maybe? All the changes tonight? Yeah, we're looking at one more. Yeah. Can I try it differently and ask how yeah, can talk. how can Akira bounce back tonight? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. That's a good, that is another good question. Yeah. Okay. I like that. Give me some time to think about it. <laughs> can you lean on your success on the road all season and also what you did uh, in the first round at MSG in those games three and four to help you out? Yeah, you know, I think he. Uh, you look at it, it, uh, it it's two it, it's two good teams, two teams that, you know, competed hard during the regular season. Uh, uh, we won one in here. We were down a couple goals, came back and won. Uh, so, uh, again, we played the, the Rangers, tough team right there with us. We're playing them. They're, you know, a point ahead of us. We know they're a good team. We know that uh, Homer Road, you have to do good things with the puff, puck. You have to execute. And... You know, that's really our game plan is to make the plays that are there. We left a lot of plays out there. What was really the biggest test of your team's mental toughness all season? I think the Ranger game seven was the biggest test. It really was. I mean, if we can look back at that, um, uh, how loose, how well we skated, I think that was the biggest mental test so far. How have you appreciated the way it almost feels like these eight games have been a crash course in playoff hockey for a lot of your guys and the way they've, you know, continually learned? What have you appreciated about the way they've been receptive to all this? Well, again, we've, we've talked about balancing emotions, uh, and that includes uh, myself and the staff because you go from such a high to, you know, all of a sudden you lose a game, and you're in a lot different place <laughs> within 48 hours. So it... Uh, the ups and downs are, are, are part of playoff hockey. Uh, the quick turnaround is, is a product of playing seven games. Uh, and a lot of you guys haven't dealt with this. Uh, so uh, you're learning on the go. You're getting experience on the go. Uh, and like I said, I, I just believe that uh, this group is going to be a lot better tonight. Any idea why home ice hasn't, been, uh, hasn't meant as much this time around this year? I don't. Uh, I really don't. I think parity. Um, I can't really, you know, I, I watched uh, some of the hockey last night. You watch the, I mean, you can break down the Toronto game any way you want to break it. Uh, uh, the home team lost, but, you know, I thought they, I thought they played extremely well. So it, it's hard when you start. I think it, it, there's, there's no intimidation factor. I don't think, uh, you know, teams can physically intimidate you anymore on the road. Uh, and I think the skill level is so balanced. There's no, you don't have a bad line that the other team gets a matchup. I think all lines are real good. 
Uh, so uh, there's a lot of things you could look at. Do you think that today that uh, int intimidation's got out of the game, that Batman wants it out of the game? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess, that was a I'm going to stay it. away from that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the goalie saying no, yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do you see a lot of parallels between you know, your career and, and Rod Brindamore's career, former player, uh, going back to the home? Uh, yeah, I, I think that's a you know, pretty good comparison. You know, you take a lot of pride in coaching your the team you played for. Um, I mean, Rod had a heck of a career plan for for Carolina, and then, you know, he's, like I said, he's, he's done a heck of a job as a coach. So, uh, very similar path um, to step in and get that opportunity. Not many guys do. Thank, Thank you, you, Lindy. You're welcome.